Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 34 of Tropical Rouge for the Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. So once again, last week's episode was the best episode. Oh, that's so mean. She's so baby doll. Uh oh. <laughs> you know, I honestly thought they would have shown um, footage of the movie because that is coming out soon. And I've seen I've seen the opening that was also released today that was the TV version of it, but I'm guessing because of the fact is it's Crunchyroll and Crunchyroll is like not really into promoting the movie, just the show of Freddy Care. They like, nah, we ain't doing anything for it. <laughs> now there was a special um I didn't get to see the whole thing of it, but there was a special ending and very much Christmassy vibes with it. And I'm like, I wish they would have showed this last week. It would have been really nice. Because of the fact is we are almost done with my birthday month. And we're about to go into November. And, and that's when everybody's like, all right, it's, all, it's Christmas time. Let's go. Even though it ain't Christmas. You know? <laughs> A hundred story house. This OST is really pretty. <laughs> ah, Ichika. Kitty kitty pretty here on the mode. Always with the baker. It is, truly. I mean, honestly, it's so obvious, babe. <laughs> oh. 
Of course you do. Really, in the end, you know what I mean? You're just going to become, you know, <clears throat> a doll. And you're going to write letters to everyone. And then you're going to find your major. And then you're going to fall in love again. Oh, my God. Get it. <laughs> and then you're going to live a long, happy life. A.K.A. Violet Evergarden. Oh, God. I'm going to cry again. Mm. You would think that, you know, Manatsu would probably want to work in an aquarium because she does, like, sea life a lot. But then at the same time, she wants everyone to typically feel topical at the end of the day, a.k.a. like, happy. So it's like, what do you consider that as a job or a career, you know? Mm-hmm. I'm hungry. 2.16 in the morning and I'm hungry. Mm-hmm. What's up? <laughs> Your dad, right? Yeah. But why a fire engine? Ah. Uh oh. A pachoka. <laughs> Man, so your dad. What the fuck? Uh, okay. There we go, that's better. But I need to kind of trick out the bag. <laughs>
just curious. <laughs> no, I gotta keep it suspenseful and just wait. <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> oh, we see about that. Is she in so <laughs> This girl waited. She just wanna share. Hmm. What could I do? What I do was just like, hey, I just wanna share. Like, damn. Mm -mm. Wait, hold on, what's that box thing was supposed to be a Yadonada? <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, that's a secret. <laughs> oh, did both of you come? Seriously?
That was cute. <laughs> we go to last week to the six of us, and then this week, kids can be this too. Yeah, but adults can be fun too, babe. Mm hmm. Well, you can still eat snacks. Come on now. Mm hmm. I mean, it's a good answer, though. But still, in a way, it's like, even though she's still kind of essentially undecisive, once she does get to a point where she's like, yes, this is what I want to be, that's when she's truly going to be the best at it. And that's the one thing that I love. Oh, babe, you'll still be welcome home. Oh. Come on. Of course, come on. Oh, oh my god, that's so precious. See, so then you don't have to go home empty handed, babe. Oh, honey. It's <laughs> a good answer, though. And I think once we get to that final episode of this show, that's when we'll truly know. And I hate the fact that we're talking about that because we are very close to the end of the show. And I really hate that because I really love this season and I don't want it to end. I really wish we got a second season. 
<laughs> it was cute oh my god but like seriously this was a really interesting probably I wouldn't god probably my second favorite episode <laughs> even after my favorite episode but really going into like the future and what you want to do for the rest of your life and this is that and the third like what do you want as a career and even though like Manasu technically she gave us an answer but I think it at the time like really for people of that age it's like yeah it is a good answer but for like everyone else it kind of isn't the best answer because of the fact is she still didn't say what she wanted to do but as I said I think when we get to the finale of this show um and whatever she does do in the future, that is her, her career. That is what she'll truly be best at. And whatever it is, she will do a damn good job at it. And I will be so proud of her. And I will cry. Because she baby. And I love them all so freaking much. The um, the fact that What's Her Face ran away from home, that just gives me hella vibes to freaking season two of um, Miss Kaguya's May Dragon, where Kana ran away from home after getting... <laughs> <laughs> no, Kobayashi was Kobayashi's Bay Dragon when Kana ran, ran away from home because her and Kobayashi got into an argument, which was the cutest thing ever, even though we didn't get to see said argument, but I would have loved to see it. And how she met her new best friend, Chloe, and it was just so adorable. And then we all found out that Tora was secretly watching her <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> Too cute. Yes! Oh my god, finally! I really wonder how this is gonna go, but yes, oh my god! Hallelujah! Episode! Yay! Because that's how we have to end my birthday month. Because I think this is. Because Halloween for us, I think, is on Sunday. So, yeah, I think when when the video comes out, it'll be the last day of the month and the end of my birthday month. But, yeah, this is a really interesting episode. Not only for, like, Manatsu in general, because this was a Manatsu-focused um, app, but seriously still with everybody else. I loved hearing, you know, what everybody else wants to do for the rest of their lives. And what I'm kind of really hoping, especially with this last episode, when we do eventually get there. So you know how, like, the finale of Healing Good, even though it wasn't what we all truly wanted and we didn't get to see with the fact that, you know, um, <clears throat> Nadoka, Chiyu, and, um, he, he, um, Hinata, there we go, thank you, it took me a minute, um, or Hina in a way, we didn't get to see, and then what's her face, um, we didn't get to see them grow up, Umi, that's what I'm forgetting, Umi, we didn't see those four grow up, and so it was kind of really like a little letdown that we, that we didn't get to see them, um, ish, and kind of what they truly wanted to see, especially for Nadoka, because it felt like by the end of the series, like, we, we got to see what, like, Hinata, Chiyu, and Umi wanted to do for the rest of their lives, but, like, Nadoka was one of those that we didn't get to see. But continuing on from that, you know how, like, Hinata, Umi, no, Hinata, Nadoka, and Chiyu all went to go visit Latte and Umi, um, in the final episode? I do hope we kind of get that, but with Laura and Manatsu and the rest of the girls going to go visit Laura when Laura is this legendary queen by the end of this series, because it really would tie it all together and then also bring in the new girl and who who's going to be the new face for the whole year and just like that because I think that would be really nice because as of right now I'm still trying to wonder what the heck are like what's going to be the theme of next season and I think we probably have gotten spoiled on it like for the last few weeks I'm guessing the movie is probably going to get like some shape or tie or form with it when the movie does come out in the next couple of days um but really from like 
technically all of October going into December, that's truly when we start getting like the trademark for the na the next name, possibly like what the girls look like, what they look like as cures and everything. Probably who's going to be no, not really with the Seiyus. I don't not by December. Really, we don't really know who everybody is voicing until very very close to when the show is about to start for the new season but i mean whoever it is i know i, I don't know if we're gonna top these five girls in this show because like i said that's an all-star cast for me and i'm like in a way you can't be an all-star cast that's just in my opinion um but really whoever else is going to portray the next cures for the following year after this show i mean they're going to do just as great as much as everyone else before them. And it's good. they're going to pave the way for anyone else who wants to come after, you know, their following season. But yeah, this is a very interesting episode. Loved it so much. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction review towards episode 34 of Tropical Rouge Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday, Sunday for episode 35. Bye, guys.